we are going to show you a video on how to reconstitute drag tube sample specimen for HIV rapid testing. The same panel tool is going to be used to show you how to do the HIV rapid testing as well as how to document your result after you've done the testing. The DTSPT, as we all call it, is for HIV positive testing. It's a simple and a cost-effective approach for positive testing programs and is used to monitor and improve the quality of HIV testing at all the testing sites and also to ensure that the accuracy of the HIV test done at all the various tests is reliable. Once you receive the package containing the panels, write the date and time of receipt, open the package and check the contents. In the package, you will find five items. An instruction guide, a report form, either for A and C or the other testing sites, six tubes of samples together with two tubes of PT buffer, transfer pipettes, and aura quick loops. Wear your gloves before handling the samples directly. Bring out your samples. Make sure to check the labels or ID on the valves and arrange them accordingly on a rack. Check the bottom of each vial to ensure there is sample in the vial, that is a green pellet. Uncap each sample and one vial of the PT buffer. With your transfer pipette, pick some of the PT buffer and add seven drops of the buffer to each vial of the sample. Discard your transfer pipettes, cap the valves and tap to mix. Incubate your reconstituted samples at room temperature for two hours. Write the date and time that you added the PT buffer to the samples. After two hours of incubation, we assemble our test kits. A and C sites, remember you are using combo whilst the other sites will use the kits for general population. Check the expiry dates to make sure your kits are good. Tear the pouches and bring out your test kits. Label the test kits with the IDs on the samples. Tap your sample to mix properly and with a dropper, transfer a drop of the sample to the sample well of the test kits. Please make sure that the ID on your sample corresponds to the ID on the test kit when you are adding the sample. Add a drop of the test kit buffer. Wait and time according to manufacturer's instructions before you read your results. Record the time you started testing. There's a reactive sample, J6. So per Ghana's algorithm for HIV testing, we will use Oraquick for that reactive sample. Bring out your Oraquick test kit and check its expiry date. Once it's good, remove the Oraquick buffer from its pouch, label with the ID, and place it in the Oraquick stand. Pick your sample and tap to mix properly. Insert the Oraquick loop into the sample, making sure the round end of the loop touches the sample. Transfer the loop to the Oraquick buffer and mix. Remove the pad end of the Oraquick. 
place in the oraquic buffer and mix wait and time according to manufacturer's instructions before you read your results the oraquic is reactive so we will go on to use Abbott BioLine for the same reactive sample. Check expiry dates and if it is good, bring out your test kits from the pouch and label with the sample ID. Tap your sample to mix properly and with the aid of the Abbott BioLine dropper, fill to half of the black mark on the dropper. Transfer sample to the well of the test kits. Add four drops of the Abbott BioLine buffer. Wait and time according to manufacturer's instructions before you read your results. The Abbott BioLine is also reactive. We will look at the reporting forms for A and C and the other sites. We will look at it in three sections. In the first section, you will indicate the region and district you are reporting from. Write your facility name and facility PT code, which will be on the brown envelope you receive. Indicate also the facility address, tester's telephone number, and email address. Write the date and time panel was received. Remember, we wrote it on the brown envelope when the samples were received. Indicate the date and time of panel rehydration and panel testing. Write tester's name and indicate the date results was returned to DTSPT team. That is your district HIV coordinator. Finally, take the algorithm that was used in testing, that is serial or parallel. In the second section, we will indicate the test kit information and results. We will fill the form for all other sites apart from A and C first. Under initial test, write the name of the kit, the lot number, as well as the expiry date. Indicate your results for the samples. Our J1, J2, J3, J4, and J5 were non-reactive, so we will circle NR for all of them. J6, however, was reactive, so circle R. Since J6 was reactive, we used Oraquake for our second test. Indicate the name, lot number, and expiration. For our results, look for J6 under Oraquake and circle R since it was reactive. Oraquake for sample J6 was also reactive, so we used our third test kit, that is Abbott BioLine. Write the name lot number and expiry date under third test look for j6 under your third test that is abbott bioline and since it was also reactive circle r finally indicate your final results for each sample in our case j1 to j5 were non-reactive so the final results will be negative for each of them. J6 is however positive, so circle that. The second section of the form for A and C sites looks like this. The only difference between the previous form and this one is we will indicate results for both HIV and syphilis since combo kit tests for both conditions. In our case, J1 to J5 were non-reactive for both HIV and syphilis. So we circle NR for HIV and syphilis for each sample. However, J6 was reactive for HIV and non-reactive for syphilis. So circle R for HIV and NR for syphilis. Since J6 was reactive for HIV, we used Oraquip. We went on to use Abbott BioLine. 
because Oraquake 2 was reactive. So we will indicate our results after writing the kit information. For our final result, J1 to J5 were negative for both HIV and syphilis. So we will indicate that J6 was positive for HIV but negative for syphilis. On our third section, testers should indicate their full name and sign. Write the date when the forms were filled. Supervisor should also write their name, sign, and provide the date. If your facility head is available, they should also write their full name, sign, and write the date. Scan or take a picture of the form and submit to this email address. Your district HIV coordinator will come for the hard copy. Thank you.